Hello world, welcome to the 35th video on my YouTube channel where I'm creating my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In video 32, we were able to detect our own wireless settings, and I said that having Shane be my wingman uh, in regards to cyber defense was a priority of mine. So a link to that video is in the description. So in today's video, we're going to do some basic IP tasks and then use a library called Scapi Scapy, to scan our network. So since I'm paranoid about my own cybersecurity, I will blur out a lot of the IP information because I don't know what can and can't be used against me. So you'll just have to trust me because I will have a lot of this blurred out. And so first, uh, let's check out this little code to get your own um, auto configuration IPv4 address. Uh, I'm not sure what you can do with this info, but here it is. So we created this. Uh, you have to import socket first. Socket is part of your standard library, so you don't have to pip install that. So I said my IP equals socket dot get host name, a host by name socket.fq.getfqdn and then we're going to print that my IP. Okay, so we run that. And although that's blurred out, that is uh, my auto configuration IP version 4. So you can check your own IP settings by going to your command prompt which I already, I'm already having. And then you go type in IP config. And then here is your auto configuration IPv4 address. Okay. So, so again, it's a lot of my information is blurred out, but that is the same one we just printed out. So this, uh, but this auto configuration IPv4 is not the IP we're looking for. So it's actually this wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi IPv4 address that we want to try and get. So I, I uh, found this code on how to get your own IP. So I'm going to call this method and then print it out. So it's called get IP. And what this does is it creates a, uh, so first you create a socket dot socket and then you pass it this. I don't even, I'm not even going to pretend like I know exactly what this does. And then in a try loop, you want it to connect and then assign your local IP. So you want to accept this local IP equals 127. So the 127 is your local host IP. In future videos, you're going to see me use a library called Flask to create my own website. And when you run it, it'll run on this host. And you want to accept that. You don't want that. And then you're going to close the socket. So you connect it up here, then you closed it. And then I want, this is saying that the local IP is going to be, except for the last two digits, and I'm going to add this dash 24. And so uh, then we're going to return the local IP. So the reason why I did that is because you'll see when we show the uh, SCAPI scanner that um, I'm going to use dot 1 through dash 24. So we're going to return this local IP into this variable called IP, and then we're going to print it. So let's check that out now. Okay, so this is the IP address. Again, I'm blurring it out, but I will leave this dot one dash 24, and you can see that it was concatenated. And that is the same one as here, the IPv4 address. And the reason why we need this 
is because when we that is something you have to pass your scanner so to make this scanner you will need to first pip install um, scapy s-c-a-p-y so go to command prompt pip install scapy and then you need to import scapy.all as scapy okay then we're going to go down and you have to put this into a function so i said def scanner so you can leave this blank if in the next line you type in scapy.arping and you can write this as a string your own ip address so if you're going to use this video just type it in as a string so in here type in for example uh one two seven this is an example don't use this just like that into into this right here you pass it to that so what i'm doing is i'm using my get my ip function to pass it to the scanner function which is why it's up here and then it's going to use that so it's called calling it by reference so um and this is literally all the code you need to run a scappy scanner. So, um, yep. So let's run this real quick. And so this gives us the. It's going to give us all the MAC addresses and the IP addresses for all the devices on my network. And so this arping, that's I guess a verb of arp which is the address resolution protocol. All right. So you could read the Wikipedia snippet right here, uh, what ARPing is. All right, so right here, uh, I blurred out all the IP addresses, but these are all the MAC addresses. And all these words, those come in with the scanner. So it says begin a mission, Finish sending 256 packets, received 11 so and got 11 answers. So that means I have 11 devices hooked up, which sounds about right, because we have a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, an iPad, two laptops. It's ridiculous. Um, and so that's it. So what it's not showing is the device name. So I would love to have the device name of each one, and I'm learning how to do that. So I'm not quite sure how to use all this data yet, but this will be the first video in my cybersecurity playlist. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are a cybersecurity expert, please give me some advice in the comments or give me some tips on where to go next. Um, so if you like this uh, video, please like the video, share it with any of your other uh, cybersecurity friends. And please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification on to watch my progress in building my own digital assistant named Shane. Goodbye, world.